guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Cassie from Anchor by Books, and today I'm going to do my January book haul. So all of these books are books that I actually didn't spend a single dime on personally. It's just continuing on with my Christmas gift cards that I had. So let's jump right into it. First, I got the whole Life as We Knew It series by Susan Beth Pfeiffer. I have read the first one, Life as We Knew It. Let me see if I can get it out. It is like really stuck in here. So this series includes Life as We Knew It, The Dead and the Gone, this World We Live In, and The Shade of the Moon. So like I said, I have read the first book before. It was a long time ago. It must have been either high school or middle school. And from what I remember about it, it's about the moon. It somehow gets shifted closer to Earth, and it messes up everything. And it's basically like a, an apocalyptic kind of event. I also picked up 1984 by George Orwell. For some reason, I've been really craving classics lately, and... Uh, <laughs> This is kind of embarrassing. I really don't know too much about this, what this is about. I think it is a dystopian? I'm not too sure. I have never read George Orwell before. I never had to in high school. Uh, we just never covered him. I also picked up Complicit by Stephanie, I don't know how to say her last name. I don't know. Q-U-E-H-N, Stephanie K. This book I picked up because I heard that it kind of resembles We Were Liars by E. Lockhart and I love that book so much. I know this is about a girl whose sister got sent away to juvie because she set someone's barn on fire and then the sister ends up getting out and apparently it's just filled with lies and stealing and all that kind of stuff. Anything with lies and all that, I don't know. If it's any sort of kind of reminiscent to We Were Liars, I'm sure I will absolutely love this book. This next book, I really don't know why I picked it up thinking about it. Let me, let me just show you what it is. <laughs> I don't know why I picked this book up. This is Crown of Midnight by Sarah J. Mass. This is the second book in the Throne of Glass series, and I have said a million times that I don't know how I feel about the Throne of Glass series. I feel like it's way too overhyped and I haven't even read it, and I picked up the second book. Why did I do that? I don't know. I, let's just move on. I also picked up Passenger by Alexandra Bracken. This book has been floating around booktube, like, everywhere lately. Everyone has been reading this book. This book, from what I know, is a time travel book. Basically, it's like a scavenger hunt through time is what I've always heard about. Next, I got Don't Look Back by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I love Jennifer L. Armentrout's writing. I read some of her about halfway through her Lux series, and I absolutely love it. So from what I understand about this book, it follows a girl whose best friend goes missing. That's really all I know. I also got I'll Meet You There by Heather Demetrios. I've seen this book around booktube a couple of times, but I never really knew what it was about. And once I read the synopsis, it just, I felt like I needed to have it. This book follows a girl who's about to go off to college and she basically has the rest of her summer to get through. And she ends up taking a job at a hotel. And then there's this boy, he's 19 years old. He's an Afghanistan veteran and he loses a leg in war. And I think it's about them meeting at this hotel they're working at together and kind of starting a friendship, but I'm sure some kind of love something rather. But I've never read anything that involves a veteran. I don't know, I just, I feel like that's something you don't get in YA very often. And as a daughter of a father who was in the military for 20 some odd years and retired from the Navy, anything that has to do with veterans, I am all over. And then I got Madness So Discreet by Mindy McGinnis. This book has a gorgeous cover first off, and I think this has to do with mental illness, maybe not so much mental illness, but it's like in a mental asylum, but I don't know if that's more of like, not necessarily focusing on mental illness, but focusing on the horror side of it. I'm not sure, but I feel like this book is going to be creepy, and I think the main character might be pregnant. Because in here, it says those secrets along with the bulge in her belly land her in a Boston insane asylum. Bulge in her belly? I'm assuming that means a pregnancy. Does that mean a pregnant crazy girl? I don't know, but... Someone grabbing this girl's foot. I don't know if you guys can see that. I never noticed that. That's really creepy. I also got Cruel Crown by Victoria Aveyard. This is just, I think, two novellas. These are just two novellas from the Red Queen world, and I cannot believe I haven't read them yet. I should probably read them before the second book, The Glass Court Sword, comes out in February. So I'll have to get on this like ASAP. I also got Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. Somehow I got an autographed copy. They somehow had autographed copies of this book. I really do not know how. It's a super tiny little bookstore but I have not read the Grisha trilogy. I feel like I'm so shallow when I say this. I got this book because I love the end pages. I love how they're black. I, I don't know, I just, I love that so much. And I've heard that this is basically set in the same world as the Grisha trilogy and it's about some kind of like heist or something. I do, I don't know, what do you guys think? Should I read the Grisha trilogy first before I go into this? Or should I just go straight into this? I don't know, what do you guys think? Let me know. 
Next is one of my most anticipated books of this year. I had a really hard time getting this book for some reason. I don't know why I had such a hard time getting it. Um, but my local bookstore, I ordered it from them and it just, it took, after the release date, it took me a good probably three weeks for me to get it. So they actually let me have an arc of it that they had and I thought that was super awesome. So of course, I was completely fangirling. And then three weeks later, I got my finished copy of Endure and it's beautiful! So I got two copies of Endure <laughs> by Sarah B. Larson, the third book in the Defy trilogy. Uh, I have I have not read this yet. I don't know why I haven't read this yet. I'm gonna link you to another video that I previously posted. I think it was like the last week or the week before about finishing a series. So I'll link you guys to that and that'll kind of give you my feelings about the ending of a series or like continuing a series. But I have two copies. I have an arc and I have a finished copy. They draw my beautiful collection. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I also got The First 15 Lives of Harry August by Claire North. I heard from this book from Reagan from Peru's Project. I can't really remember what it's about. I think it's about a guy who, when he dies, he keeps his memories from his previous life into his new life. That's pretty much all I know about it, but Reagan seemed to really love it, so I thought I'd give it, give it a try. I'm pretty sure it's adult just adult fiction which is something that I don't normally dive into so I think I think it's kind of cool to be able to broaden my horizons and I think this is a good way to kind of get me into it. I also picked up Truth Witch by Susan Dennard. If you haven't heard of this book where have you been? It has literally been everywhere there's been so much hype behind this book it is about a girl who is a truth witch um, I'm not too sure what that means but I know it involves best friends and people have been going freaking nuts about this book because it involves best friends. Oh, Sarah J Mass also blurbed it because Susan Dennard and Sarah J Mass are apparently best friends, so that's kinda cool. This book, I don't remember if I've already hauled or not, but I'm gonna put it in here just in case. I got The Bronze Horseman by Paulina Simons. This is a historical fiction novel about, um, I think it's based around World War II, about a girl and a boy who end up falling in love, I'm assuming, and he is like a soldier or something. I don't know, but I've been totally digging historical historical fiction lately. This is a pretty big book, but this is one of my books that I told that I want to read in 2016. I'll link that video somewhere around here as well, so you guys can see what other books I want to read. Next, I finally picked up A Cold Legacy by Megan Shepard, which is the third and final book in her Madman's Daughter trilogy. I've only read the first one, I've not continued on with the series, but I'm excited to at least have this one so now I can finish the trilogy whenever I so please. I also got, this is a long haul, I got The Burning Sky by Sherry Thomas. I think I've seen this floating around maybe a little bit around booktube, but to tell you the truth, this doesn't seem like it has anything super special about it. It seems like just your average fantasy about a girl who has to take down some kind of big supreme ruler, and I'm sure she falls in love with a prince or something. But who did I hear about this from? I can't remember. I think it was Ro Rowan? I'll leave her channel down below. I'm pretty sure I heard it from her. Her and Sasha, I think, both read this book and actually gave it pretty high reviews. So. I saw it at my local bookstore, I had some more gift cards, I thought I'd pick it up and give it a try. And last but not least, Outlander by Diana Gabaldon. I wanted to get the big kind of floppy cover because lately I've been wanting to get into more adult. I just, it's all over the place, I've never seen the TV show, I've never read the book, uh, but I wanted, if I did, I know I want to read the book at some point, but when I do, I wanted to make sure I had the big floppy version, and once again, gift cards. Now let's see if I can pick up all these books. for this video guys I'm gonna leave all of my social media down below my Instagram my Goodreads my Twitter all that fun stuff will be down below don't forget to give this video a like and I'll see you guys next time bye